Um, hi, Supreet here from Auckland, New Zealand. I'm going to talk about scholarships today. How you can apply for scholarship, what websites you can look into to search for the scholarships, if you're eligible or not, and what courses you can come on to um, be eligible to apply for scholarship. First of all, you make sure that you come through a registered agent which which you can find where you can find that if the agent is registered or not there is a website which is called enzra education new zealand registered agents enzra um you can go through the website and check if that agent is registered or not who you're coming um through another way of finding a registered agent is if you have applied for a um, university on their website, they've got a list of their register agents. So you can check that out as well for scholarships. There is a website called education website and they have an office in Delhi. So just Google education website for scholarships and you will find the courses and um, what scholarships are running currently. Minimum you get $10,000 per year and the scholarship you get only for a year and suppose you're coming for two years visa, you, you can um, get a scholarship for a year. So which will be minimum $10,000. But I think mostly the scholarships are for level nine PhD level. Um, there are many levels. If you have done your NZQ assessment, and you have done to level eight and you see if you want to come on PhD, why? Why they provide scholarships only for PhD level? Because New Zealand would love to welcome the intelligent people overseas and they know that we are hardworking. So they invite PhD level students and provide them with scholarships. So, you know, they, they get the chance to come in and study and give their researches and publish documents which will be helpful for New Zealand. Uh, another thing I found out, which is if you come for level nine studies, you uh, get to pay domestic fees. That's another reason for the government to give you that benefit so they can invite as many uh, PhD students as they can by providing them scholarships and fee discounts. So even as an international student, you pay only domestic fee. Um, I'll put the link below of the university and you can check that out and inquire about it. Thank you and like my video, subscribe to the channel and please share it around with other people. Thank you so much. Bye bye.